Right, time now to get interactive, and uh, Aisha Ibrahim has joined us, and she's going to be taking us through. Sure, time now to get interactive. Grab your phones, tablets, and all the gadgets, and let's get talking. Now, join the conversation on our platforms, facebook.com slash join news on TV, twitter.com at join news on TV, and on WhatsApp, the number is 0560 Please send your name and location when sending the message, and also don't call please don't call so it's all about justice for christopher uh the 16 year old boy who was brutalized uh, because the military uh, people were ac accused him of stealing a mobile phone at the kamina barracks in tamale that's pretty sad let's get straight to your views on this matter <laughs> I believe that it's uh, about high time that uh, we end this kind of uh, activities that are carried out without any law or whatever backing it. If you suspect somebody of stealing, the first thing that you do is that you report to the police. Then it is up to the police either to take the person to the court for the court to decide what kind of punishment the person should be given. You don't take the law into your own hands and say, no, I'm going to be the person. And it's not the first time you are hearing this. It has happened so many occasions when you always hear of soldiers beating some civilians and at the end of the day, nothing comes out of it. So I am appealing to human rights institution like Amnesty International, like Child Rights, and even to the minister in charge or the minister of children and gender. They must take this case up. The soldiers must be dealt with. Yeah. Right, right from the word go, they even have to be, I mean, dismissed from the, from the, I mean, it's unacceptable for military who are supposed to know better, who have to go through such military, I mean, the, the discipline of, I mean, their profession, that, that, that doesn't demand that they, they carry such acts. So in right from the word go, I mean, they have to be dismissed. They should be investigated thoroughly so that the necessary disciplinary action be taken against them, the, corp, uh, the corporates. In a democratic dispensation, right, and everything must be done according to law. And that's why we call it the rule of law. So no individual, no one person or organization can be a law unto themselves. Uh, so it is so sad that people who are expected to enforce laws and to give us protection are themselves uh, perpetrators of uh, evil deeds. So if this should happen to this young guy, then one should ask the question that uh, where lies the security we're talking about? Now this boy is hospitalized, not just hospitalized, but this boy is going through a whole lot of pain. Who knows, probably this boy may be a breadwinner to the family or something of that sort. Now, instead of he being a breadwinner, he's now becoming a burden to the family. Well, so those are the views of uh, some people on the streets of Accra, Israel. What are people saying on right, Facebook? Right, uh, the story has gotten uh, people speaking on, on social media, <laughs> so we posted it. Uh, 17 shares. Uh, it had 17 shares. Yaya Imuro says, oh my God, not until we do thorough background checks on applicants before enlisting them into the Ghana army. Brutalities by some soldiers and civilians will linger on for a very, very long time. Opoku says, if the boy indeed stole the phone, then I have no regret for him at all. And if this boy can steal a phone from a whole barracks, imagine what you can do to a civilian like you and I. Shada B says some of the military men are mad just that they are in uniform. It's high time we parade all the military men and let them go for checkup at the mental hospital because we will be in our house and one day they will pound on us uh, for doing n nothing wrong. Uh, Elvis Edubati says God of the land will punish these fools, heartless and mad soldiers. We're still in uncivilized military. Are we still in an uncivilized military regime? He who hasn't seen before should stone the woman, says Jesus Christ. The perpetrators must be caught to book. Uh, Ahmed says, oh Allah, how much does it cost to own a mobile phone? Sometimes peanuts, right? There's no justification whatsoever 
to warrant three soldiers subjecting a suspect by beating him to pulp for <coughs> allegedly stealing a mobile phone. Azari David says there are funny things happening in Ghana. Pa army protecting the people have turned to beating and killing innocent people. See, while the country is preparing to fight against terrorism, you rather use the skill to beat people to death for picking your phone. And Dylan G says, when a military personnel uh, gets angry at you, nothing stops them from not uh, taking action. But it's a worrying problem. The military heads need to look at. So some of the comments. And on WhatsApp, a lot of messages are coming. This one says, may Allah save Ghana, my beloved country, from the power seekers. They can't deny being responsible for the recent gross importation and transportation of weapons. Why? Has Ghana now turned Somalia? This is from Bambakia Summit. And this one says, the earlier the, okay, this one says, it's really sad for military to beat younger persons like this instead of protecting us. This is not fair at all. This is from John Ephirim. This one says, the military, very wicked. Those who committed the crime should be dismissed from the security service. They are not above the laws of our country, said John Bosco from Tamale. You sent this. This one says, the earlier... Uh, servicemen are made to understand that they are not above the law, the better for us all. It is becoming too rampant. This is from Joy from Peki. And a lot of the messages are coming. This one says, For soldiers, uh, is do before complain. I wish the victim a speedy recovery from Ishen. Uh, he's sending this from Brikum. And the military must be careful the way they beat people. This is from JK from Karaga. A lot of the messages coming. Mamavi, oh, someone says, Mamavi always reads my message. <laughs> well, this one is saying the military should be punished to prove as a deterrent to others. If a teacher can, a student, and beat a student to this extent, the military will take him on. So same should happen to him. This is from Mumuni Bandai. So, well, that's pretty sad issue. I think uh, I don't want to comment because I'll get emotional. But let's move on to other stories. Hassan Ayarga is in the news again. And this time his party, the All People's Congress, has received recognition as one of the 26 political parties existing in the country. So Ms. Ayarga is now confidently announcing his intention to seek power. Despite being granted certification, the Electoral Commission says the APC has 90 days to finish it with addresses of party offices nationwide as the general elections approach or it will withdraw the party certification. What do you make of the APC now? I'm not sure he's capable of winning. Why? Yeah, because even like when they were kind of a team, even that they couldn't make it. And like he being independent, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not sure. I don't know what he's going to do to win. He can, he can win. Uh, once he has the determination, and then um, I think the power was given to him not by himself, but authority, and then also having uh, to power. Once he, he was able to some of the pictures, and then uh, he, he got everything. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's something that was approved by the court that he had the mandate to go ahead. I don't know what he will say, but I think he has the the vision, whatever he wants to do. To help the nation, yeah, to move on, so he can he can go ahead to do whatever he wants to do, so that he can win the election. And then I think he also has the support within the nation, people who want to really who really want to support him to win the election. Yeah, I don't really think he's capable of winning because he went with the PNC and wasn't able to win. Then I think he going personal, it wouldn't help him. So I think Why? he wouldn't because he went with PNC as. For representing them, and he wasn't able to get it, so he going independent. I don't think that will help him. Yeah, so you should just say yeah I think that would be better. Or if he can go back to his old party and maybe fix things, maybe I think that will help more than he going independent. Yeah. All right, so let's see messages coming on Facebook. I'm sure a lot of them are coming. Mm -hmm. 
Abu Bakar says, uh, Ghana is a serious country, and jokers like Ayariga should never be given the opportunity. <laughs> we can't forget what happened during the 2012 presidential debate from Ibrahim, a.k.a. Le Sudato Kumbungu. Uh, Guy Kyle says, uh, why should the party in opposition support the ruling government? What really makes you a party? Join them. And true and <laughs> prosper says Ayaga all the way. Go, go, go. Hassan, the man is a serious man. It will surprise you that Ayaga will get five percent of the total vote. At least we, we those who were thinking of voting for Your Excellency uh, Mama Ekua Donko, now have a very good alternative Ayaga Power Congress, <laughs> APC, all the way. And I send some sarcasm on your part. <laughs> <laughs> on WhatsApp, the messages are coming. APC is capable of winning. But the truth is, we Ghanaians are not ready and capable of voting for him. It will be waste of votes. This is from Abrewaba, PK of Paga. Um, this one says, I wish you all the best, Dr. Ayariga. My only prayer is that the rejected ballots won't exceed your votes. A <laughs> shame from Brekum. And George Zon from Wa says, we really need a third force Ghana. We only hope he is not coming just to add to the numbers. Wish him all the best. Uh, we need people like uh, Yariga to ease the political tension. This is coming from K. Chebi. And he says that in the country, warmongers like Nanado and his likes are making some of us feel uncomfortable. And um, this one also says that um, he will only gain popularity. That's all by Elias from TABDAC. After the break, we'll take comments on Bukum Banko's response to bleaching allegations. We'll be back. <laughs> It's still the interactive segment, and I can see how comfortable you are in your chair enjoying this show. But Bukum Banku has admitted that he is bleaching. So what? The boxer has a goal to doing this. He wants to be Ghana's ambassador to Germany if President Mahama is re-elected. And I guess this is how he's preparing towards it. So, Ezra, why don't you read some of the recent comments on this issue on okay. Facebook? Okay, so we have... Uh and uh, Nana says, you will never hear anything good about this Banku. When Mani Bakao and others are winning titles, he's here bleaching his skin and fighting women. Oh my God, what a <laughs> moron. Albayan says, Master, beauty is beauty and ugly is ugly. It's no bleaching which can make you beautiful. Bukum Banku must be ashamed of himself and stop this unreligious behavior. Kwame says, then stop bleaching and go back to the ring. If, as even your master is preparing to leave, as he knows is going to lose. Well, that's where we wrap up on the most interactive segment on Joy News Prime. My name is Aisha Brian. It's a Friday. Don't forget to have fun. <laughs>